Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we will be post-processing this 3D printed PLA print with liquid green stuff. One of our subscribers suggested it to us and we thought we would try it out by post-processing our print. We'll find out how it goes. Let's take a look at the model before we start applying any of the liquid green stuff on it. We can see that it's a relatively small print, but it's still very detailed. We can see the individual layers on the print as well. I hope that this liquid isn't too thick and it takes away all the detail on the print, but we still want it enough to fill in the gaps. Okay, let's start. We'll slowly apply the liquid green stuff on the model with a paintbrush. So you just want to use your paintbrush to smooth it out across the whole model. You don't want any surface to have more than it should have. It's a bit hard with the model turning, so let's stick a piece of tape on the bottom and have it stay in one place. After it dries, I'm going to apply a second layer of the liquid green stuff onto the model. Now that it completely dried up after two coats of the liquid green stuff, we'll take a closer look at it. We can see that all the individual lines disappeared from the model and it seems pretty smooth. I wouldn't say it's completely smooth, but I would say it's pretty good with no additional sanding or anything that we have to do on our end. It seems like another good thing about this liquid green stuff is that the model still retains all the detail from before we applied it. A lot of people say that when you're filling the gaps with primer, it actually loses its detail. But in this case, I would say this is still pretty good. Well, there we have it. We tried using liquid green stuff and it works pretty well. It masks all of the individual layer lines and the gaps. It also kind of smooths the model out for you as well. I'm pretty happy with the results without doing any additional post-processing. So I would definitely recommend it. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering U. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printing courses, Steam challenges, and CAD tutorials. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.